What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to the video. Today I'm doing a race fix for the 2023 FRA 208. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This weekend the NASCAR Truck Series heads to Atlanta Motor Speedway, the 1.5 mile super speedway track that used to be a 1.5 intermediate track. Now it's a 1.5 super speedways type of track. The last time we raced here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, Corey Heim picked up his first current NASCAR crash in Truck Series victory after holding off charters like Ben Rose and Chandler Smith to get his first ever Truck Series victory, the first of two wins he got of the 2022 season. He'll be looking to win his first race of the 2023 season with Tricon Garage. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the Atlanta weather for this weekend is actually going to be pretty cool. It's going to be 56 degrees as the high, 33 degrees as the low, with right now a 20% chance of rain with partly cloudy skies. So it's going to be kind of chilly. If you're going to this weekend to Atlanta, make sure to bring a jacket out to the racetrack this weekend and be prepared and be bundled up for this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's how picks work on the channel. I do two suck picks for the truck series, two drivers I expect to struggle or continue their struggles, two underdog picks, two drivers expect to run really, really well and under fun to equipment, and I do my winner's pick, the driver I think is going to win, and then for the truck series, got four drivers you need to watch out for alongside the driver I think is going to win. So anyways, let's get into picks. Who are my suck picks for this weekend? At Atlanta Motor Speedway. My first suck pick is a driver who's just gone out to the gates on a not good note. I don't believe he's finished in the top 20 so far this season in the Craftsman Truck Series and has just struggled this year with GMS. And it's surprising considering this guy's had a lot of hype and a lot of people had this guy easily making the playoffs this year. I'm talking about Daniel Dye. Like I said, Daniel Dye has completely struggled so far in 2023. He struggled during practice at Daytona and just did not have a good run this a couple weekends ago at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So I don't expect much from Daniel Dye going into this weekend. I think he's going to have, unfortunately, not so good run in that number 43 truck with GMS. I think he's going to get better as the year goes on. I think he has to get acclimated to the trucks, not having a lot of truck series experience. I think it's hurt Daniel Dye, but I think Daniel Dye, unfortunately, struggles this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The second driver I think that's going to struggle this weekend is a driver who's had not a great start to her 2023 season, Haley Deegan. Haley Deegan, I believe, has failed to finish in the top 30 in both races so far this year. And she just has not had a lot of good luck. Both of the races that she's been involved in wrecks, she's unfortunately been in a really bad position. She got involved in a wreck in Las Vegas where John Remichek kind of came down her. She was four in a four wide position. And unfortunately, John Remichek made a mistake. Then at Daytona, got involved in a big wreck that Clint Greenfield unfortunately caused. I just think that bad luck is going to continue for Haley Deegan. I don't think Haley Deegan is going to crash out, but I think she finishes outside the top 10. And I think she finishes around top 15. But I think, unfortunately, compared to where she, a lot of people expect her to perform, I I just think she's not going to have a bad run, and I think she finishes outside the top 15 this weekend at Atlanta. And now we're going to jump on the underdog picks for this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Who are under the underdog picks? My first underdog pick is a driver who's usually very good at Super Speedway tracks. You go back through this year, well, it's Cup Series, the Spinny Series, or Truck Series types of tracks. This guy always runs really, really good. Matt Benedetto. Matt DiBenedetto has had an up and down start 2023, but this guy is really good at Super Speedway as tracks. Plus, he got his first career truck series victory, his first top tier series victory at Talladega. Granted, it was a little bit controversial, and people argue that Brent Holmes should have won that race. But Matt Benedetto definitely is a driver who's very good at Super Speedway as types of tracks. And I think Matty D is going to have a very fast truck this weekend and will contend for the victory. I think he's an underdog to get it done this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway. My other underdog pick is a driver who's kind of not had a great start to 2023 and has crashed out of both races this year, Roger Carruth. I think this weekend Roger Carruth is going to turn around. I'm not expecting him to win this weekend, but I think he's got a really good chance to finish in the top 10. Roger has some decent pace on, at um, Vegas. Unfortunately, though, he got involved in a situation with Nick Sanchez. And then at Daytona, made a little bit of a mistake, though Zane Smith kind of came down on him and hurt Roger Carruth a little bit. I think Roger Group is going to turn around his performance this weekend and run around the top 10 area. He just needs to come out this weekend with a decent performance. He doesn't need to win, but he needs to come out with a pretty decent performance and show that he's got. I think Roger Group will show what he's got somewhat this week in Atlanta. And I think he'll lead some laps as well this weekend at Atlanta. And now we're going to jump on the winner's pick for this weekend at Atlanta. Who is my winner's pick? 
My winner's pick for this weekend is a driver who has started the year off very, very strong, been fast all year, had one of the few cars that really could attend with Kyle Busch at Las Vegas in the early portion of the race, and it was another driver who could have won Daytona, had the best truck at Daytona. I'm talking about Christian Eckes. I think Christian Eckes is going to get BMR, I believe, their first one, because I don't think Bill McAnally's truck team has ever won a truck series race. I think that's going to change this weekend. Christian Eckes has been very, very strong this start of 2023. I was not expecting him to come over here. because I think he's a great talent, don't get me wrong, but I was not expecting Christian Eckes to be as fast as he was. But I think that 19 Truck Series team, especially with how fast they work Daytona and Daytona Atlanta are somewhat similar with types of racing. I think that's going to really help Christian Eckes get it done. I think Christian Eckes will get his first win of 2023 and his second career Truck Series victory. His last one, of course, coming in 2021 at Las Vegas with Dorsport. So now we're going to jump on the ones you need to watch out for for this weekend at Atlanta. Who are the ones you should watch out for? The first driver you need to watch out for is a full-time driver in the NASCAR Xfinity Series and probably the favorite to win the Xfinity Series Championship right now, John Hunter Nemechek. John Nemechek will be driving a 17 truck for Cry Track on Garage this weekend, and he had a little bit of controversy in last year's, week, right, last year's race with Chandler Smith at the same racetrack, but I think John Nemechek is going to be very, very fast. Tricon Garage has been a little bit slower than I thought they were going to be, anticipated they were going to be, but I do believe that John Nemechek is going to be a lot better this time around, and I think Tricon is going to give him a very fast truck, and I think he'll be a pretty big contender to get his first truck win of the 2023 season. The second driver we need to watch out for for this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway is the winner of the Daytona opener and <coughs> defending NASCAR Truck Series champion, Zane Smith. Zane Smith was really fast at Vegas and, like I mentioned, won at Daytona, so he's already locked into the playoffs. I expect Zane Smith and his 38 Truck Series team to be very strong and very, very competitive. I think that you're going to see Front Row Motorsports give him very, very fast piece and very, very fast equipment, and I expect that Zane Smith will be a contender. Would not surprise if he gets two of the first two wins and gets it done this weekend. I think he's going to finish in the top five once again, and I think he's going to continue his hot start that he's had in 2023 as he tries to defend his Truck Series championship. It's also coming off his first cup, second cup start of 2023. The third driver you need to watch out for is one of the few drivers that really contend with Kyle Busch last week, and that was Nick Sanchez. Nick Sanchez, though, unfortunately got involved in a little bit of an issue late in the race with Roger Groove and already had some problems early in the race where he went multiple laps down. But I think Nick Sanchez has been extremely impressive. I think he's going to win a race or two this year. Rev Racing, of course, does use Kyle Busch Motorsports stuff. And Kyle Busch Motorsports has been as fast as they've ever been. And I think Nick Sanchez is really building off of a great start to 2023, where I think that that number two truck is going to be a winning contender. I think he's going to lead some laps here. And I would not be surprised if Nick Sanchez does get his first career victory. I think Nick Sanchez is going to be very, very quick, very, very fast. And I think that you're going to see him have a very strong run this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And a final driver to watch out for is a driver who will be making some Xfinity Series starts in 2023 with Spire Motorsports and driving to 42 for Nice Motorsports, Carson Hosovar. Carson Hosovar has been pretty solid to start 2023. I don't think the 42 trucks had the race winning pace or speed capabilities so far, but they've had top five speed throughout the year, and I believe that Carson Osbar is only going to get better as time goes on. I think the 70, not 75, the 42 truck is going to be very, very quick, very, very fast this weekend, and I think Carson Osbar has a really good chance to get his first career truck series victory this weekend. He's come very close so many times to getting it done, and I think Carson will be a factor to win this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So, those are my race picks for this weekend. Here's the truck race at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Just a reminder, my set picks are Daniel Dye, Haley Deegan. My underdog picks are Matt the Benedetto, Roger Kruf. My winner's pick is Christian Eckes. And the ones to watch are John Hernemichek, Zane Smith, Nick Sanchez, and Carson Hosovar. So, that is going to be a race picks video for the 2023 FRA 208. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and the channel notifications on so you know if I to win a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Links go down below over that, and comment below your thoughts below on today's picks. Who are your picks for this week? And let me know your suck picks, let me know your underdog picks, and let me know who you think is going to win. And let me know the drivers you're watching out for for this weekend at Atlanta or Speedway. Let me know that in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel, we have multiple videos on the channel. There's a possibility that we could see an entry list video on the channel. If not, we're going to be waiting on that, uh, basically, that announcement on that penalty for Hendrick Motorsports, if it's possible. And also, we are going to have be talking about the Xfinity Series race picks, 
Then on Wednesday on this channel, we'll have an ask her news video, a little bit fall to the chase out the penalties for Hendrick Motorsports, along with, of course, the uh, paint schemes for the weekend. And then, of course, we will have the cup paint scheme, the cup race picks on Thursday as well. A lot of content on the way that I think you're really going to enjoy. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. We're trying to reach 2,500 subscribers by the end of the year, and if we can do that and you guys can share this video out, I would gratefully appreciate it. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.